Hello and welcome back to our Treble D Beach House series. In the last video we performed the famous Treble D Shell Explode on level 1. Shell Explode lets us turn our modules into a professional workable model. In this video we'll explode level 2 but go through it all a lot quicker now that we know what's going on. The first thing we should do is go to the Shell Explode scene and adjust the layers. It's currently showing level 1. We need to select level 2 and deselect level 1. Now we go to the Shell Explode tab, right click and select Update. We select our group, open it up with a double click. As you can see we have a collection of individual modules and we need to convert them into one shell. Firstly though, if we take a look at our 3D picture and floor plat, we can see that this bedroom has a kick out. It's been extended out to overhang the room below, so we'll attend to that. We double click the bedroom module and double click the shell. Now we turn the model on an angle so that we can see the end wall side on. And we drag a box around the entire end wall just like this. Using the move tool we then grab the bottom corner and drag it out in the red direction and tap the right arrow key. We then type in two apostrophe for two feet. In metric you would type 600. Now we click outside the box and it's done. Time to explode. We open up our group and drag a box, right click and explode. Then do it again, drag a box, right click and explode. So we drag another box, right click, select make group. In the entity info box we choose the layer shell and we call it L2 shell. Now we've got a few missing walls we need to pull into shape. So we'll do that. I can see a missing edge here on the inner angle and it's bugging me so I'll just put that in now with the line tool. And we need a landing at the top of the stairs here so we'll use the rectangle tool. Make a rectangle and push pull it along to match the inside wall. Now we need to make some walls for our stairwell. I'll just go to the layers menu here and choose the lower level to get a better picture. We use the line tool and use the lower level as a reference. Now we use the push pull tool to create the walls. I'll pull this over to the inside face first, then tap the control key. You can see the little plus sign come up. SketchUp will now create an extra line or an extra edge for us to work with. That's going to help us later. Now we just pull everything into place. Now we're going to shell explode our windows. We drag a box from right to left, right click and 
explode. Now we take our push-pull tool and push a face through our windows. We use the inside face of the wall as a reference then just double click the rest of the doors. This door is a bit sticky so we need to persevere with it. Just zoom in and try it again. We now just double click our windows and it's all done. We save our work and it's time to clean up some excess lines with the eraser tool. So that's about it. Level 2 is looking good. Next we'll get our stairs happening and we'll straighten up some wayward text. So please join us for the next video.